Mr. Miller. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And here we are in uh, 2007. You might recall uh, I offered an amendment that would uh, block uh, bringing the Gitmo residents uh, to the United States of America. And at that time, I was told that it was a red herring. Uh, and I would remind uh, and associate myself with uh, Mr. Hunter's comments. You know, those deranged young men that were brought in uh, banging their heads against the wall have been killing our coalition forces. Uh, and our American men and women for years now. And look, I've got no confidence that this country is going to deport somebody back to uh, the country that doesn't want them when we already have 20 million illegal aliens in this country uh, that we can't get a handle on now, uh, as it were. Now look, why would the President even propose closing Guantanamo without a plan? And everybody's acting as though he needs to come up with a plan now. He campaigned for well over a year on the fact that he was going to close uh, Gitmo and yet made the, made the action to do that and, and had no idea uh, what it was going to do uh, in the legal community. And to those that are talking about us being concerned about terrorists breaking out of these facilities, that's not the issue. That is not the issue it, itself. Uh, what we're most concerned with is the people that would actually associate themselves in our local communities. Think of the cost uh, that it's going to put on the backs of local communities to protect people on the outside of the facility, not just on the inside of the facilities. We all have confidence, uh, just as Mr. Ray has talked about in the Bureau of Prison being able to take care of those people that are inside the walls. But it's funny to me uh, when we all know that the American people do not want to bring these detainees to the United States of America. And we've heard arguments in this committee tonight where people are talking about erasing the stain in the world community that exists on the United States of America. And in fact, these very same people won't take the detainees that we are trying to deal with. And so I can't figure out why we are worried about the other people who won't even take these people who are out there today. You know, the President talked about trying to save a hundred million dollars. You remember he asked his cabinet to come up with that, and we've already heard tonight the AP's reported they've doubled that uh, in paying uh, Palau two hundred million dollars to take seventeen or fourteen Uyghurs, whatever the number is. And lastly, Mr. Chairman, I had never heard of a Uyghur before until all this started uh, coming up. And you know, all I can tell is that they're well-fed, they're healthy, their teeth are magnificent, uh, certainly not the type of people that you would expect to find uh, in the mountains of Tora Bora. Uh, 